Double murder mystery. Police are searching for a shooter after two men were gunned down. The victims were just sitting in a car when they were ambushed. And local 10's Ray Ramos spoke with heartbroken loved ones of the victims. He's live in Miami with our top story at 6. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, they are absolutely devastated by all of this, and they say that their loved ones are innocent. It's right behind me where the two men were gunned down, and it's police now searching for who pulled the trigger. He's an innocent person who lost his life. Tears welled up in the eyes of Ashley Joe as she described her big brother, 26-year-old Antoine Joe, a young man who we learned was with his childhood friend, 24-year-old Tyler Royal, when the two were gunned down over the weekend. He's a good person, loved basketball. He had a pure soul. I feel like this world wasn't ready for him, real respectful. City of Miami police said it was around 4 Saturday afternoon along Northwest 12th Avenue near 42nd Street in Miami. The victims were in a black car when someone started shooting at them. Once officers arrived on scene, they did in fact locate uh, two males who appeared to have been suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. While the men were rushed to Jackson's Ryder Trauma Center, sadly, they both would lose their lives. After speaking with Antoine's family, I learned he was the oldest of four sisters and two brothers who was a former basketball player at St. Thomas University. It's there he completed his undergraduate degree and planned on obtaining a master's. I see him every time I see myself in the mirror. I see him when I close my eyes. While investigators are still trying to determine if the young men were targeted or the shooting was random, it's relatives who now want their loved one's killer caught before another life is taken. I don't need an explanation of why. I just need to know who. And we're asking anybody in the community who perhaps saw or heard anything, we're urging you to come forward so they can continue their investigation because at this time, we still have a shooter or shooters who are on the loose. And St. Thomas University did also release a statement that said Antoine's enthusiasm and leadership were a big part of the success of their basketball program. They are planning on honoring his life during a moment of silence at this Saturday's football game. Meanwhile, if you have any information that could help police find who is responsible for all this, you're urged to contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. That number, 305-471-TIPS. For now in Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Just heartbreaking.